Okay, guys, today what I'm going to show is how I prep a Adirondack chair or a garden chair to be decorative painted. So what I've done is I've taken and I have stained my, in a nice light stain, I stained my pieces, came right out of a box. So I sanded them and I stained them and now I have taped off the edges with masking tape. And I'm flipping them good side down and I'm going to put, and I'll just slide them over a bit more here. So I've got them all taped around the edges. They're facing good side down. And now I'm going to take, I've got a, a set of those hook and loop dots from the dollar store. And I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna put them together. So I just attach them to each other quicker and these are just and this is just an easy way <laughs> I say that as I mongle that so I'm just sticking them to each other so they're all now attached to each other so and I'm going to peel the backing off and I'm going to place one. Now I've lined up all of my holes so that the holes all meet with each other so my chair is when I put it together is going to my pattern is going to line up. I'm taking this double set of dots and I'm putting them on each one of the pieces. So I've put a row of dots across the top and bottom and I put a couple in the middle just just for luck. <laughs> now I'm going to take a piece of poster board from the dollar store, foam core board, and I'm going to lay it over top and press. I want to use some good pressure, get a nice stick to my boards, make it stick to those dots. Now remember, it's paper, so if you flip it too fast or anything like that, it can tear the backing off your foam core board. So I've got it on there, and now I can flip it over, and I'm going to trace it out and trim off the excess edges. So I flipped it over, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim along the edges here a little bit. I'll use an X-Acto knife just to take that excess off so it's not so cumbersome for me. Now these are stuck on with the Velcro dots and that will pull off afterwards so it's not a big panic. And uh, we're ready to paint. I'll put my pattern on, design, I haven't designed it yet, but I'll put my pattern on and uh, we'll be back after to to work on that so but this is the prep for it so you seal you, you seal it with your stain you got to sand it all first i tape around the edges line up the holes backside now when you do one of these chairs if you see these holes here those the screws come through from the front when you attach it back together so a lot of people when we've done them before thought that had to be the back but it's not so Pay attention that you see the holes big for the front. So, all right, that's how I prep a chair to paint.